November 30th. On this day we keep the memory of the holy, glorious and illustrious Apostle Andrew, the first called. The glorious Apostle of Christ Andrew was the brother of the holy Apostle Peter and came from the village of Bethsaida on the western shore of the lake of Gennesaret. Unlike Simon Peter, who married, Andrew chose to remain in his virginity, and he lived in Simon Peter's house. The two brothers earned their living as fishermen and kept all the ordinances of the law blamelessly. When St. John the Baptist went about Judea and the Jordan Valley, proclaiming his message of repentance, Andrew left everything that held him in the world and hastened to join him as a disciple. Some days after he had baptized Jesus, John the Baptist was conversing with Andrew and his other disciple, John the Theologian, when the Lord passed by St. John, looked at him and said to his disciples, Behold the Lamb of God. At this word of their master, which indicated to them the one of whom God had appointed him the forerunner, Andrew and John followed Jesus to find out more about him. Jesus turned towards them and said, What do you seek? Rabbi, they answered respectfully, where are you staying? Come and see, said Jesus. So they accompanied the Lord to the place where he was living like a stranger and a sojourner and plied him with questions for the rest of the day. They did not realize then that he was the Saviour and the Son of God, nor was it even in their minds to become his disciples, yet they felt drawn to him more than they could say. From their conversation with him, Andrew was convinced that Jesus was the Messiah, the Saviour of the world, whom his people had awaited for so many centuries. Unable to contain his joy, he hurried home and told his brother Simon, We have found the Messiah, and then he brought him to Jesus. Being the first to recognize Christ and to announce him to Peter, Saint Andrew is given the title of First Called. From then on, Andrew followed the Saviour wherever he went in the towns and villages, deserts and mountains, that he might drink deep of the river of living water of his words. At Andrew's intercession, the Lord multiplied the loaves to provide earthly food for the five thousand. It was to Andrew that the Apostle Philip turned when some Greeks asked to see Jesus. Andrew had a special love for Philip, who like him came from Bethsaida, and Philip knew that Andrew's communication with the Master was on a more familiar footing than his own. The witnesses of the most sublime revelations of the divinity of the Lord Jesus were Peter, James and John, the first in rank of the apostolic choir, followed by St. Andrew. Not that he exercised authority over the rest of the disciples, but he had a kind of precedence. Saint Andrew witnessed all that came to pass in Jerusalem at the time of the life-giving passion of the Lord, and was present with the others at the appearances of the Saviour after his resurrection. He received the fullness of the grace of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, and he was allotted to preach the gospel around the Black Sea coast in Bithynia and Thrace and in Greece. Faithful to the exhortation of the Lord, he went out into the highways to proclaim the good news of salvation. He faced perils and tribulations without number, illnesses, dangers from robbers, every kind of privation. But the Holy Spirit accompanied him wherever he went, spoke by his mouth, worked miracles and healings, gave him patience and joy in his trials. And this 
indwelling power of God drew multitudes to the faith whose minds were illumined by St. Andrew's preaching. He brought souls to second birth through the labor of holy baptism. He ordained priests and consecrated bishops at their head. He built churches and organized the praise of God within them. The end of his life found him at Patras, where St. Andrew healed Maximilia, the proconsul's wife, of an incurable illness, and so he brought her to the faith. The other inhabitants of Patras also shared in the blessings he brought with him, and there was soon a large community of Christians in the city. While the proconsul was away, in his absence, St. Andrew even converted his brother and deputy, Stratocles. On his return, the proconsul was enraged to observe the gains made by the Christians even in his own household, and so he had the apostle arrested. In prison, St. Andrew continued preaching, and he ordained Stratocles as bishop of Patros. Some days later, the apostle was condemned to be crucified head downwards. How joyful he was to imitate Christ, even in the way he was to die for him. After restraining the friends who wanted to procure his freedom, St. Andrew blessed his faithful for the last time, and he gave up his soul to God. Many years later, on the 3rd of March, 357, the precious relics of the Apostle were brought from Patras to Constantinople by St. Artemius, whom we celebrate on October 20th. At the command of the Emperor Constatius, the son of St. Constantine, the holy relics were placed with those of St. Luke and St. Thaddeus in the new church of the holy apostles. Five hundred years later, they came back to Patras, sent by the emperor Basil I, the Macedonian. In 1460, on the eve of the Turkish invasion, Thomas Paleologos presented the holy relics to Pius II, Pope of Rome. The skull of the Holy Apostle was finally returned to Patras on the 26th of September 1964 to the great joy of the faithful. Interestingly, in the Western tradition, St. Andrew is especially venerated as the patron of Scotland. St. Rule, a native of Patras is said to have brought a part of the precious relics of the Apostle to Scotland in obedience to a vision. He founded a church in Fife at the place now called St. Andrews, which became a centre of pilgrimage. In the Middle Ages there were more than 800 churches in Scotland alone dedicated to the first called of the Holy Apostles. Blessed is our God always, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to Thee, O God, glory to Thee, O Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things. Treasury of blessings, a giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O holy one, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. All sing a song of victory unto God, who has wrought wondrous signs with his lofty arm and has saved Israel, for he is glorified. Holy Apostle Andrew, pray to God for us. With the divine grace dwelling in thee, O Andrew, preacher of Christ, purify the thoughts and words of my turbid soul, that in purity I might offer thee a worthy hymn. O holy Apostle Andrew, pray to God for us. Christ's forerunner, the scion of a barren woman, joyfully offered thee, O Andrew, as the precious first fruit of his own disciples, unto him that sprang from a virgin, even Christ, who is glorified. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By beginning with love and immutable longing as the first steps of virtue, and ever meditating on divine essence, O Andrew, from feeble strength thou didst arrive at the very greater. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Rejoice, O wellspring of grace, rejoice, heavenly ladder and gate, Rejoice, lambs that golden urn and unhewn mountain, who deeds conceive for the world, Christ the giver of life. Let my heart be established in thy will and in thy commandments, O Christ my God, who deeds establish on the floods the material firmament, and deeds found the earth upon the floods, O sovereign omnipotent. Holy Apostle Andrew, pray to God for us. Not being called, but of thine own volition, thou ran's a thirst like a heart to the wellspring of life, O Andrew. And finding him, thou didst proclaim him to all, and having drunk, thou gavest the thirsting ends of the earth to drink of the waters of incorruption. O holy Apostle Andrew, pray to God for us. Acknowledging the laws of nature, O admirable Andrew, thou madest thy brother thy partner when thou didst cry, We have found the desired one, and thus in knowledge of the Spirit thou didst proceed him that was before thee in birth according to the flood. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With the net of the word thou didst net rational fishes out of the deep of delusion, O Apostle, and thou didst offer them on Christ's table as a fresh and spotless delicacy, made resplendent by the grace of him that appeared in the likeness of the flood. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Through the all-holy Spirit thou didst conceive God in thy womb, O virgin, and didst remain unconsumed. For unto Moses the lawgiver, the blazing unburned bush, had clearly revealed thee beforehand, who didst receive the unbearable fire. As the first called of all the disciples' choir, and the servant and I witness of the word, O Andrew, we honor thee with laudations as is thy due, for with love and unwavering longing and strong desire, Thou didst follow the Lamb that doth take the world's sin away. And thou, O Apostle, didst partake of the passion of him that had willingly suffered death in the flesh for us. Wherefore we cry aloud to thee, 
Intercede with Christ our God that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them that with longing keep thy holy memory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Fiery throne of the Maker and God of all, O pure maiden, thou chair of the King, rejoice. Thou couch spread with purple cloth, bridal chamber of royal gold, robe of genuine purple and lightning like chariot, temple honored and precious, thou lampstand of many lights. Rejoice, O Theotokos, mighty city of twelve walls, thou gate overlaid with gold, nuptial chamber of stately form, comely table of fairest gold, bright dwelling place divinely adorned, bright bedecked with sunbeams and most glorious. Rejoice, for thou art the only joy and beauty of my soul. When thou foresaw in the Spirit the incarnation of the word, O prophet Abakum, thou didst proclaim it, crying out, When the ears draw nigh, thou shalt be acknowledged. When the season comes, thou shalt be shown forth. Glory be to thy power, O Lord. O holy apostle Andrew, pray to God for us. When the divine power of the all-creating and bright-beaming Spirit, which utterly destroys that which is worse, divinely made its dwelling in thee in the form of a fiery tongue, O Andrew, it showed thee to be a preacher of ineffable things. O holy apostle Andrew, pray to God for us. The all-honored Andrew took not up carnal weapons for defense and for the pulling down of the enemy's dread strongholds, but girt with Christ, he captured the obedient na- nations and offered them unto him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O all-blessed Andrew, from the abundant gift of Christ thy teacher, by thine intercession cease not to fill with the waters of spiritual gladness those who with longing celebrate thy memory in song. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We him the great and terrible mystery pertaining to thee, O all-praise virgin, for unbeknown to the orders above the world, he who is descended upon thee like dew upon a fleece for our salvation, and refashioning. Grant us thy peace, O Son of God, for we know none other God but thee. We call upon thy name, for thou art the God of the living and the dead. O holy Apostle Andrew, pray to God for us. Thou didst receive him whom thou didst long for when thou comest to rest with him in the imperishable habitations worthily gathering in the sheaves of thy pains, O Apostle Andrew, wherefore we glorify thee in him. O holy Apostle Andrew, pray to God for us. Thou didst desire the Master, and didst pursue him, guided in his footsteps unto life, O supremely honourable Andrew, and thou didst truly emulate his sufferings, even unto death. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord, aiming thee as a mighty arrow, let thee fly into the whole world, O blessed man, wounding the demons and healing man, wounded by ungodliness. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The powers of the heavens rejoice on beholding thee, and with them the assemblies of mortals are glad, for in thy childbearing they are united, O Virgin Theotokos, glorifying thee as his meat. Imitating the prophet Jonah, I cry, Free my life from corruption, O good one, and save me, O Saviour of the world, as I cry, Glory be to thee. O holy Apostle Andrew, pray to God for us. Crossing the sea of life in the hull of thy body, O blessed Andrew, thou didst acquire 
as thy helmsman Christ, who has the care of the whole universe, and unto him, O all blessed one, thou wast born of rejoicing. O holy apostle Andrew, pray to God for us. At thy word, spirits flee, diseases take to flight, and a swarm of the soul's sufferings are chased far from the ailing, through the grace given thee of God, O Andrew. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Like a tranquil wave moved by a gentle spirit, O blessed Andrew, thou didst dry up the evil seas of polytheism with thy divine currents, and maids rivers of divine knowledge to gush forth unto all. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In thee the forefathers of our race rejoice, O Immaculate Virgin, for through thee they recovered Eden, which they had lost by transgression. Thou art pure both before and after giving birth. Let us acclaim the namesake of courage, that herald of things divine, the first God of the Saviour's disciples, and the kinsmen of Peter. For as he formerly cried out to him, so does he now unto us. Come, we have found the desired one. From olden times, David, with good reason, restrains sinners like me from speaking the statutes of God. Yet again his teaching exhorts us to faith, and with many tears he declares, Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as when Israel provoked him. Then he adjoins the following psalm. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Come, we have found the desired one. Come, we have found the desired one. The fire neither touched nor troubled thy children in the furnace, O Saviour, whereupon the three, as if from one mouth, praised and blessed thee, saying, Blessed art thou, O God of our Father. O holy Apostle Andrew, pray to God for us. Thine unalying promise is manifestly fulfilled, O Christ, for thy most divine disciple, rebuking the tempest with the word, changed it to a gentle calm while singing out, O praised and supremely glorious God. O holy Apostle Andrew, pray to God for us. Command it to ascend the spiritual Mount Zion, and joyfully taking the cup of salvation, O Apostle, thou hast conveyed through death to the divine life, where is Christ, the supremely glorious God of all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou earth born by nature, O Apostle, thou work signs past nature, for being mingled with Christ through love, thou didst follow him who loved thee while singing out, O praised and supremely glorious God. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Rejoice, O August Lady, Adam's fleece, whence came forth the supremely exalted shepherd, who verily refashioned me, all mankind, in thy womb, by clothing himself in the whole of me. He, the praised and supremely glorious God of our fathers. Him before whom the angels and all the hosts tremble as the Creator and Lord praise. O you priests, glorify him. O you children, bless him, all you people, and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. O holy Apostle Andrew, pray to God for us. O Andrew, Apostle of Christ, thy divine, radiant, and cheering memorial shines rays of healings on us who cry. Praise ye the Lord, all your works of the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. O holy Apostle Andrew, pray to God for us. While having inherited human nature, O Apostle Andrew, thou didst transcend its laws and pass over to the angels' dwelling, and thou dost cry, 
Praise ye the Lord, all you works of the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. O holy apostle Andrew, pray to God for us. The breath of God's Spirit, setting thee aflame from above, showed thee to be an ardent rhetorician, O God-proclaiming apostle, as thou, Christ, to thy Christ, praise ye the Lord, all you works of the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Like flashing lightning didst thou issue forth as a light of the nations, driving away the darkness of ignorance and enlightening the faithful as they cry. Bless ye the Lord, all you works of the Lord, Praise and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Unto her that without seed and past nature gave birth from the divine lightning to Christ, the pearl of great price, let us all offer praise, crying out, Praise ye the Lord, all you works of the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. Let us all magnify the light-bearing cloud, wherein the Master of all who is without beginning came down from heaven like rain unto a fleece, and was incarnate for our sake becoming man. Let us magnify her as the pure mother of our God. O holy apostle Andrew, pray to God for us. As a most excellent disciple of him who willingly experienced the cross, O blessed apostle, thou didst follow thy master unto death, mounting the height of the cross with joy in journeying on the way to the heavens. O holy Apostle Andrew, pray to God for us. The gate of Eden had been opened to thee, and the heavenly ladder has been set. The dwellings of the heavens have received thee, and thou hast stood with joy before Christ, the giver of life. O Apostle, as a peerless intercessor for the world. O holy Apostle Andrew, pray to God for us. Thou wast glorified with sufferings like those of thy teacher, O blessed and all-wise Andrew. For thou didst receive a divine end through the cross, and becamest God by participation. Wherefore we beseech thee, ever make entreaty in our behalf. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, O Père most excellent, who now have your citizenship in the heavens, as we sing your praise, have regard to our volition to him new, which exceeds our ability, and adorn us with the splendor of divine graces. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Virgin, thou art sprung from the prophetic root of David, the ancestor of God, and David has thou verily glorified by giving birth to him that was prophesied, the Lord of glory, whom we magnify as his meat. The Word who was before all time, when he found thee, O Andrew, the blessed saint extolled of all, showed thee forth as the the most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, 
Thee who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, and the prayers of his holy and all pure Mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist of the Holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy and life-giving cross of the Lord and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, and the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Cicerus the Great and Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ron, and Molwag, all of the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery and our community. With the prayers of the Holy Apostle Andrew the First Called, with the prayers of St. Frumentius, Archbishop and Enlightener of Ethiopia, with the prayers of St. Tongduol of Brittany and St. Crida of Cornwall, and those with them whose memory we keep this day. At the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. At the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.